Hey guys, what's up? Space Goats here for another video. Hope you guys are doing really well. Uh, today, today, this afternoon, tonight, whatever time zone you're in, uh, I had a kind of a request here a couple days ago uh, from one of my cryptocurrency buddies. He was wondering if we could either 3D model or if something was already available to 3D print to hold GPUs. Uh, a lot of people that I know, they have uh, their mining rigs and stuff setting on racks, uh, zip tied with the uh, graphics card just kind of dangling on a on a on a rack or a milk crate or you know stuff like that that's not very secured. So they was kind of curious if there's something that we can 3D print. Well, and let's see, here's an example of a, rack, a couple of zip ties, kind of sitting here holding the cards up, you know, I mean, we got the risers kind of dangling and whatnot, the motherboard sitting on a piece of foam, you know, a lot of cryptocurrency guys, people do that, they don't uh, buy frames and stuff like that, so, so, I was thumbing through one of my favorite places, Thingiverse, and I came across this, which is pretty interesting, uh, little, I don't know what you would call it, just a little stand. Uh, up on top, you got this little bar right here that's 3D printed, it slots in a slot, there's a hole that comes on it, and add a little screw. If you look here on the sides, so we'll go to this picture here, right here on the sides, it allows you to interlock these together. So each one of these is set up for one card. And you got six cards, you print six of them off, and you can interlock them all together. And the interesting thing is there's holes drilled on the front of it to mount a fan. So you can mount your fan, your graphics card, all in one on, on this little uh, stand or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I figured, <clears throat> what the hey, move as well. Oh, I can print one off. Let's see what it looks like. So this here would be the riser prop. If you look in the picture right here, it spans across this back right here and actually supports the riser. This right here is the top bar. Comes across right here. And it just sets in there, you know, that you don't have any any force actually holding it down or anything, any any kind of screws holding it in. So, and then of course you got the actual stand itself, and that's it. You got three parts. So, I've already downloaded the files, and I'd like to say thanks to uh, the ES Spot for making this CAD drawing. He did this drawing, wow, almost uh, three years ago, for people that were wanting to know about it. Oh, and also they added some extra files. This right here is a link bar. Uh, that's a quick disconnect pin, I think is what they was calling that. And if my understanding is correctly, I'd, I'd have to look at it and see how it hooks up. Uh, if you have short cards, uh, like 1050 TIs or, or maybe 1660s, these link bars here will actually allow you to hook, uh, I wish he actually had a picture of it, it allows you to hook the back of these stands from one card stand to another card stand. So you can tie them front to back, or the backs together, I guess. And you can have two rows of cards with the backs together. Hopefully I'm explaining that correctly. But anyways, uh, yeah, okay. I was hoping he'd have a picture of it. So anyways, I've already downloaded the files. And I'm going to print this on my Ender 3. Uh, the recommended settings that he had uh, was... Let's see what he... He did it on a Prusa, no RAF, supports yes, resident infill 10%. Okay, nothing, nothing major. So I'm going to come up here... My layer height is 0.25. Uh, I did it kind of thick, and so that way it prints a little quicker. 
Uh, let's see here. Wall thickness one, bottom height, only three layers. Uh, infill density 10%. Uh, I already know that my my printer and the temperature that I need to run is 200 centigrade, 50 on the bed. Print speed is 50. I've been printing off off my little uh, Ender 3 most of the day today, so I already know what I what I need. I'm going to change this to uh, change it to a skirt. And that's it. So we come over here. Here's the files. Here's the stand. Uh, let's see here. Bridge. And that one there, right? Pen extension. I think those are the three files. Yep, there we go. All right. Now I already know. These need to be slid over. Put that here. Now, I know it's probably not necessary, but I'm a little anal retentive, so I'll zero these all out on the Y axis. And we'll zero this one out on the Y. So everything's nice and straight. Let's move this over. Oops. Negative 85. Negative 55. And I want. Uh, too close. Uh, let's move this one over just a smidgen. There we go. All right, that's it. That's that's our uh, our print. And like I said, it's really simple, really simple little print. Um, it's not really anything that I'd want to change. I just want to print it off and see how it works. I'm curious to see the fan, the fan mounts. You know, make sure the holes are straight and and a line up. So we'll hit the slicer here. See what it tells us. Ten hours, eight minutes, 111 grams of filament. So I already got my flash drive in. So we'll hit save. Automatically saves it, and that's it. It's really, really nice and a lot, a lot of really good uh, uh, creators on Thingiverse. I don't know if you guys ever use Thingiverse or not, but there's people on there that some of the, some of the work they do is just fantastic. So I would highly recommend if there's a project that you guys are looking for, just starting out on your on your 3D printer. You know, I'm not a I'm not a CAD CAD design guy. I hate to say it, I I'll get somebody's somebody else's uh, designs off a of thing of hers, kind of tinker around, maybe change a few things, real minor stuff. But to design something like this, this is kind of beyond my scope right now. I'm I'm still learning. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Fusion 360 is free as long as you're not using it for business. Any anybody that's uh, for personal use only, you can download it for free. And use it for free. I've had Fusion 360 for quite a while, but because of a full-time job and the farm and everything else, I just have not had time to really learn how to use it, other than just kind of tinker around with it. I've made a few little projects for the wife here at the house. I made some tags for our livestock to put on our critters and stuff. Well, I think that's about it for this video here. Uh, the next video will be the final product. So I hope to see you guys here uh, in the next video and, and hope you guys have a great day. Later.